So now that we have Python installed, I'm using the Windows 10 version software. So at this point forward, that's the way it's going to be viewed. However, you can still use Python on Mac and the syntax are all the same. To get to your Python shell under Windows, just simply type Python. Now you will see on my screen, I happen to have multiple versions of Python. But if this is your first download, as you installed, you should only see one. And what I want to do is choose idle Python. This is the default application in order to write Python programming scripts and code. And we will use this as we move forward to make it easier. Now, once you open up your Python idle, this is actually just the Python shell that's been provided to us. Now, what you'll see is the version of Python and most likely the Win32 if you're on a Windows. Now, a couple of things before we get started here. The Python shell opens up into the interpreter part of Python. And Python is a bit different than your other normal programming languages in the fact that it is a interpreted language, meaning I don't have to write the code and then compile that code into an executable or a program. This Python will allow me just to interpret the code on the screen and run it accordingly. And this is what it kind of looks like. So if you do mathematical expressions on here for minus three and just hit enter, It'll automatically read the code, interpret it, and provide a result or an, an actual response to it. Same thing as in 2 plus 2, or 3 divided by 1. Those type of mathematical expressions can be an immediate response to it. But we can go further than that, too. Python uses the command prompt, open parentheses, and then either a single or double quote the world i end my quote and in my parentheses hit enter and then a response back to me to print out that now you wouldn't necessarily write a full code into the shell but this will allow you to go ahead and write simple command logics into the interpreter and then see what the response is. This helps out a lot of times when you're debugging, finding out specific lines of code. So 